Welcome to the work face. I keep getting asked, will mesh Wi-Fi get rid of dead spots? I've got an app on my phone that might show you how effective it can be. Just watch this, it'll be quick. I couldn't have said it better myself. Welcome back, so I'm gonna boot up this app and show you on the screen what's going on. And then I'm gonna walk around the house. I'm in different locations, closer to some of the nodes, but I'll be getting further away from the original hub, the broadband provider hub, and you'll be able to see how the signal to my phone changes as I move through the house. Let's do this. Right, so this is a Wi-Fi monitor app that's on my phone at the moment. And what it basically does is it tracks which are the different um the, which are the different signals are the strongest so at the moment you'll see that the strongest signal here is what i call wild mesh one so you can see that on the thin green line at the top of the screen and then directly next to that is the bt hub which is slightly less so although i'm standing right next to my bt hub my m5 unit is given a stronger signal than that original BT hub. So immediately it shows that the TP link can emit a stronger power than our original hub. Now I'm going to start walking away from that unit and you'll see that the wild mesh one will then drop as will the other blue line. But now look, you'll see, hello, what's that yellow one that suddenly started appearing with that? is another mesh Wi-Fi, which has now jumped further up the list. Now, the hidden ones are other people's Wi-Fi, so they'll come as I move around my house, but from, from next door, etc. But you can see as I start moving through the house now, I'm going further and further away from the original mesh Wi-Fi. The green line has dropped right down, and the BT hub has also dropped right down as well. So let's have a look now. So here you can see that... Um, the the original mesh Wi-Fi has dropped down. It's even slightly worse than the BT one. So you can see those two lines through the middle, the green line, thin green line, which is just below the thin blue line. So the thin blue line being the BT hub. I right, see it. It's dropped right down now. Look, those two have dropped right down right at the back of the house. But what you'll see look, is we've now got wild mesh um the thin blue another thin blue line for wild mesh one has gone to the top and there's another wild mesh one on the thick green line so what this is trying to illustrate to you is as you move away through the house from your original hub the mesh wi-fi system will then be transmitting its signals and because i've got a decent smartphone um and because of the way you set up your um system on your deco it will allow your smartphone to pick up the strongest signals as you go along so right now going right back to the start the bt hub is weaker than my original wild mesh one so you can see there that at the very bottom there almost the blue line and then the green line which is my original wild mesh one that's my um deco m5 unit then as we come up we then got a another wild mesh one in the purple and oh, no, those are switched off there's they were old configurations but i've got a another wild mesh one there in the um orange thin line which is that's in my kitchen that's midway midway away there's a red one there as well which is no, so that is upstairs the kitchen one will be the red one i would imagine and then i'm getting closer to me out, out the back of the house where i've got the other two so basically the further out you move the um the better your signal gets so yeah it just moves around if i walk back through the house now it'll all change back around again so hopefully that shows you what i'm trying to poorly explain this is a deco m5 so i've got a ping of 30 a download of 37.4 and an upload of 10.8 now that is really good in fact that is um that's that we can't get we cannot get more than that 
in a locality um, even doing a wired connection you, you're not really going to get any more than that here um, and now we're going to test again now I've walked right through to the back of the house so I'm miles away now and let's test again and see what what happens so now so my phone would have now switched okay and as you can see <laughs> it's almost exactly the same okay ping not quite as good but the upload and download absolutely perfect let's test it one last time and just see if now I've been here stand there you go the ping that now stand is still in this area um, this is ridiculous the download speed is actually better in this instance right now of course this changes all the time if other people are using um, the system and external influence as well but this hopefully shows you that right throughout the house I've got really good Wi-Fi so there you go folks that hopefully shows to you that a mesh Wi-Fi system can remove dead spots from the house and improve signal in areas of the house particularly further away from your primary or from your broadband providers router of course you'll be switched onto your mesh system catch you guys on the mesh wi-fi schmi-fi flip side <laughs>